Hi, Amy, lads and lassies. Today is St. Patrick's Day, as you can see by me green here, and also by the green M&M on our little toy here, who says, the message of the city today is on. Okay. And also in keeping with the day, here is a large book, a very large, pretty book about Ireland, but that's not the book that I'm concerned with. The concern, the book that I'm concerned with right now is Fairies at Work and at Play. Now, as you may know, Ireland is known for its little people and, and all sorts of sprites and strange goblins, hobgoblins and things like that. One of my favorite authors, William Butler Yeats, wrote about this extensively in books such as uh, the Celtic Twilight, for example. But this particular book came out of copyright some years ago. It was done in the mid-1920s. It is called, titled Fairies Set Work and at Play by Geoffrey Hudson. Geoffrey Hudson was a Catholic writer and also a theosophist. Uh, this came out by, uh, let's see, from the originally from the Theosophical Publishing House in London. It came out originally in about 1925, as you can see. And what we have here is a wonderful, wonderful account that Jeffrey, Jeffrey Hudson gives of all kinds of little people, all kinds of little people, fairies. You see, there's fairies there, fairies, as in fairyland. The Brotherhood of Angels and of Men, and Chapter 1, Brownies and Elves. Brownies and Elves, I tell you. So what we have here is this book is a book that I put together, concocted, and it's all about his visits throughout England and possibly also over to the Emerald Isle. I'm not quite sure about that, but he wrote extensively having to do with things like mannequins and green mannequins and mannequins compared with brownies, grass creatures at home, undines, sea serpents, sprites of all kinds. This is a wonderful book. This is a book that might appeal to your child, it might appeal to your teenager, it might appeal to your wife, you know? So especially now as we enter into um, the uh, spirit of St. Patty's Day and everything that has to do with the wearing of the green and the symbolism of the day. And there's a shamrock. I just happened to find the shamrock on here. Is that not amazing that I found that shamrock? There's all sorts of wonders, wonders to be beheld. And one of them, of course, is Ireland itself, the wonderful Emerald Isle. So buy this book. It is on, uh, uh, it is on sale at lulu.com. That's L-U-L-U dot -L -U com. Fairies at Work and at Play, observed by Jeffrey Hodson, H-O-D-S-O-N. I recovered this manuscript, and I retyped the manuscript in its entirety, and I put this up here for sale. And I think you should look at it. You may really enjoy it. And thank you so much. And may the luck of the Irish be with you.